Hi, welcome to this video. In this one, we're going to discuss what happens in a three phase unbalanced load in terms of the power for the whole circuit, the three phase power. Uh, we're only going to be talking about the watts. It's very difficult to do the calculations for what happens with the VARs, with the canceling out in the different phases. So we're just going to talk about the watts in this uh, example. What we've got here is a three phase unbalanced Y load. So what you can see here is I've got three phases. Uh, let's just say, let's call this one phase A. Our line A is connected over to here, which makes that one phase A. So phase A is a coil that has 12 amps flowing through it. Uh, we'll say this is B, line B, connected to a resistor of 12 ohms of resistance. And we'll say C is connected to that capacitor, which draws 5 amps, which then we would, of course, in an unbalanced load, require that neutral conductor. So we connect up that neutral conductor. Now, what do I want to do here? Well, I want to figure out my power within each phase. So what you're here for, the reason you're here is we're here to calculate the power total in the circuit. So the big thing to remember is when I'm looking for three phase power, I need to go the power of phase A plus the power of phase B plus the power of phase C. Now in this case, because we are dealing with a Y circuit, I do have another video doing the exact same thing with a delta circuit, which you can check out. But in this case, we're dealing with a Y circuit. So it'd be A to N, B to N, and C to N would be our subscripts. So that's the formula I want to do. So in that case, I need to figure out the power in each phase. Anyway, I didn't put here, but I'll say this coil has a power factor of 0 0.8. So let's figure it out. Phase A, we've got a coil, and this is a 120 slash 208 volt source. Now we have all the info. Uh, so in phase A, I've got this coil, it draws 12 amps, and I know that A to N would be 120 volts, which means in phase A, I would be able to figure out that I have 1440 VA, and I've got that power factor of 0 0.8. That allows me to figure out that in phase A, right, again, 120 times 12 amps gives me that 1440 VA, right? So S equals E times I, right? Of course, phase voltage, phase current, right? So it gives me 1440, so I got 120 times 12, gives me that 1440 VA. Now that's really important that I'm using the phase voltage. Use my power factor and that can get me 1152 watts. Okay, so 1440 VA, 1152 watts, fantastic. Now I know phase A, so I'm gonna put that down here. 1152 watts, beauty. Moving on to phase B. Phase B is a little different. What do I know about phase B? It is a resistor, so it's gonna be all in phase values, meaning it's all watts. I've got 12 ohms, I've got 120 volts. A couple of things I can do. I can go P equals E squared over R. Again, that's the phase voltage over the phase resistance. So 120 squared divided by 12 ohms, uh, that is gonna give me a power of 1200 watts. Another way I could go about it, if you wanted, you could go P, equals E times I, right? I know my power factor is one. Oh, I don't have E, or sorry, I don't have I. 120 volts, 12 ohms, that gives me 10 amps, right? I could calculate out 10 amps if I wanted, 10 amps times 120 volts, phase voltage, phase current, gives me 1200 watts. The last one here, where's my blue? The last one here is phase C. Phase C is a resistor, or sorry, a capacitor with five amps. Capacitors are all out of phase values, meaning I'm all VARs, which means that in phase C, I would have zero watts. So now we can take that, right? Capacitor, pure capacitor is gonna have zero watts. We said I have 1200 watts in phase C, and we said I had zero watts in phase C. So 
my three phase power, 1152 plus 1200 plus zero is gonna end up giving me 2,352 watts, would be my total three phase power. Um, so hopefully that answers what you came to this video for. What is my total power in a three phase unbalanced Y circuit? And that's how I calculate it, whether you're Y or Delta, you wanna use that formula, that's the one. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.